One of the biggest problems that all small operators have is how do I compete on price? Number one, I don't want you competing on price. I think you guys know me well enough. I believe that you guys should be in the luxury side of the transportation. You should be charging. You should be at the top tier of your pricing. But what happens when somebody says, you know, hey, I can get that airport transfer for 85 when you're 105. So you have a $20 difference. A lot of people just give up and say, hey, well, you should book with them or good luck or whatever that is. I believe you should flip this around on the person that you're speaking to and say, let's just say it's Chris that's calling into Bill's limousine. And how much is it to go from my home to the airport? And I say it's $105. Oh, well, thank you very much, but I can get that for 85 someplace else. And I'll say, Chris, what do you do for a living? And Chris will say, well, you know what? I am in sales. Okay, well, if you're in sales, isn't the most important part of your job to generate revenue and profitable revenue for the company? What if Chris says, well, I own XYZ business? Well, Chris, then you get why, you know, I'm a value-based company and I do X, Y, and Z for you. And you probably do the same thing for your customers. And I doubt you're the cheapest person in your market segment. So one of the things to get a price conscious buyer to understand value is you have to get them to understand the value that you are selling. And that's usually what the disconnect is between buyer and seller. It's our job as the sellers, the owner of the company, or to train your customer service reps or anybody that's interacting with your prospects to turn them into clients, is they have to know how to work around and get over these objections. And that's why one of the most important things for any business is to create an objection library. So if you take the questions that you are not able to answer, if you're not able to turn somebody that tells you no, to turn a no into a yes, I implore you, I demand that you write that question down that they're asking you that you can't get over. And then call me, sit down with your staff, talk to your fellow affiliates and your mastermind groups, whatever it is, and figure out the responses to be able to get over those objections. Hope this helps you guys. This is a really important piece of subject matter if you wanna close uh, you know, more sales outside in sales meetings, if you wanna have your customer service reps, close more quotes, close more business, where you've gotta be able to get over these objections because the very first no, it's just the first opportunity to continue to take that next step and build a more intimate relationship and understand your customer. But they also have to understand you. And if they, we get hell bent on believing that we have so much value, but the problem is, is we don't really focus on how to communicate that value with our prospects. So my chauffeur just arrived. It looks Adrian. Yeah. How are you, Adrian? I'm Bill Faith. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Everybody, this is Adrian. Meet Adrian. We're up here in Petaluma. Who do you work for, Adrian? Pure Luxury. Pure Luxury, who is that? Who owns that? Uh, Gary Bufo. Gary Bufo, don't forget about Jennifer. Uh, Gary and Jennifer yeah. Bufo are NLA president. So I wanna thank you guys. Uh, I gotta jump in the car with Adrian. We're heading up to Pure Luxury for the day. I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Ask Limo You Show.